from the Oddfellas Hall to Sandy Bell. Right back where I started, Edinburgh's crucible of traditional music. Even today, a bust of Hamish Henderson retains pride of place above the bar. From the 50s into the 60s and beyond, this wee bar was to become an important hub for folk pioneers, some of whom would emerge as household names. <laughs> I kind of feel like I've been put in a, a time warp or a time capsule and sent back. This place has been on the go for years, eh? Spooky. It's very Spooky. Spooky. From, uh, I remember it from the late 60s, mm. and Sandy Bells was kind of the pub in Edinburgh to come to. Say, with the chieftains were in town, you knew that they would come along here. Dedanon, you yeah. knew they would be here. Yeah. Tom Paxton, yeah, they would turn that. up here and you would, you would learn. Everybody was like a sponge trying to soak up as music much, yeah, and songs. As much as they could, yeah. It was like, it was, it, we came here not just to, to, le to learn, which oh. you would do elsewhere, but we all had this desire to learn songs and tunes and soak up this. And also the time, it was mid 60s, mid to late 60s. It was a very free time. I can remember the excitement when to say Ali would walk in and everybody would say, Ali Bain's coming in. And the place yeah. would kind of, you know, Billy Connolly would walk in. And it was yes. just, it was a tangible excitement in the yeah. place. Jerry yeah. Rafferty came and in Jerry here as well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, well, just about everyone. But I th the emphasis uh, really is a new material because you would hear these guys new yeah. influences Absolutely. and that's the tradition the the oral yeah. tradition if you like that you would hear new songs new tunes yeah. and you would get better because of it and it all came from sandy bells you came in at 11 and about two you started drinking that's up right. well you didn't and, have to come in and, at and, 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 and it <laughs> well, you, well you were chucked out at two so you did have to come in at 11. <laughs> you did, you did. what an amateur <laughs> and you, you would, there would be incredible um, booze ups and sing songs. I mean, harmonies. I, I, re I remember yeah. it. The bloom and lattes are Then at two o'clock, we all adjourned to, to upstairs to yes. 47 Forest yeah. Road. You used to hang out there yourself, Ali, didn't you? Yeah. And it just went on, yeah. didn't yeah. it? The music just went on, and people would take be beer from here upstairs to 47. Yes. I got an impression when I first came here that uh, a lot of music that was being sung at the time were like protest songs or political songs. I think the whole folk movement then was a, was a political movement. It was to get our own music recognised. Yeah. And that was a political thing, to make that yeah. statement. We were trying yes. to create our own identity yes. in, in yes. Scottish music. And just because it's old doesn't mean it's irrelevant. I think you, you have to learn about your past before you can go forward. So, Barbara, how about stepping back in time and giving us a song? And we're waiting uh, very patiently because uh, a good friend of yours, Troy Donnelly, is on his way. Yes, Troy was so young, he would never have been in Sandyville because he wasn't born till after, you know, all those days. <laughs> but he's kindly come with me to, to play on We Troy. Around. We Troy. Oh, nice he's not that. in his nappies, though. He's uh, out in nappies. Right. It was in the man of sweet July Before the sun had pierced the sky T'was in between the rigs awry That I heard to a lover a talking The lad said, lass, I must away I hear a longer time to stay, but I've got word or two to say. If you've the time to tell me, the feather oh you he takes great care. Your mother comes down your yellow hair But your sisters say that you get me share If you gang with me a stranger At 
my father fret and my mother curse my sister's words I do And they live. 